What makes the Range Rover Sport SVR the craziest SUV ever? Almost every car manufacturer now offers an SUV. As a result of greater competition, SUV have gained incredible features and top speeds. Their use is expanded beyond off-roading, including luxury, superior ride handling, comfort, and performance. Have you ever wondered which is the craziest SUV ever made and what makes it the most insane? We have all the answers to those questions in today's video. Range Rover Sport SVR is known for its explosive performance and remarkable speed, although its capabilities go far beyond that. But how luxurious is it? What is the level of luxury? And how much does it cost? Well, let's find out. But first, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Have you ever been so fascinated with a car that you couldn't help but pull over and take another look? When driving the Range Rover Sport SVR, you will feel like this. This vehicle delivers so much on so many levels that you have to take a step back now and again to understand what you're driving. The Range Rover Sport SVR may appear to be a conventional luxury SUV, but once you get behind the wheel, you'll think you're driving a Jaguar F-Type R. The Range Rover Sport SVR has to feature one of the most futuristic, spectacularly over-the-top interiors ever seen in an automobile. The heavens above unveil a playground for your rear when you retract the colossal sun cover. The interior of the SVR is covered in Star Trek-grade Oxford leather. Sure, they aren't the puffy, Land Rover-style sofas that customers are accustomed to, and they are firm, but who cares? This is a high-performance car. Thus, the seats should reflect that. While there is a lot of everything packed into this SUV, practically all of the settings are straightforward to allocate and tune in. You've got the supreme being in this region of the universe when you combine that with LED mood lighting, a killer audio system, and a steering wheel that's both substantial and supple at the same time. With back seats that mirror those in the front, no one will grumble about riding in the second row of one of them. As much as I like to call this a car, it's still an SUV with the same size, cargo capacity, and essential virtues as the perfect but considerably less powerful sport model. The SVR version is a scarce SUV vehicle, an improved edition of the already potent supercharged model with 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque leading the way busting skulls along the way as it offers heart-pounding performance at every inch of the power band. The SVR Special Vehicle Racing is the name given to this Nürburgring-born rare, which makes sense when you consider that all three titles refer to the DNA of this Range Rover. The most powerful Land Rover ever is a supercharged 5.0-liter V8 toting, rev-matching slice of exquisite engineering complete with a cabin that people either love or detest and a free-flowing growling exhaust that makes a Hellcat sound like a lap cat, with a starting price of $111,400. Let's not forget that the Range Rover SVR lapped the 12.9-mile course in 814, making it the fastest production SUV to do so at the time. Is all of this, however, truly necessary? What happened to Land Rover's famous off-road prowess? Considering this vehicle is all tracks when you step on the throttle? Let's begin by answering the previous question because off-road Land Rover finesse has always been legendary. Believe it or not, the SVR retains all of the off-road characteristics found in a standard sports model. This SUV illustrates that adaptability can be a two-part equation with a locking center differential, rock crawl settings, airlift suspension with 9.3 inches of clearance, and a removable front lip that proves that sometimes you have to afford a creep. In response to the second question, sure, this outrageous performance is required. Starting with the SVR remapped computer for higher boost settings, this top-tier model comes with wider intake piping for increased intercooler air charges and that quad-port performance exhaust system. Even though this version weighs 5,500 pounds, it has the same 14 or 19 EPA efficiency rating as its smaller counterparts. 
This is more proof that you can have incredible power while maintaining solid fuel efficiency figures with the appropriate driving techniques, a transmission that ships 50% faster, and a lot of lightweight aluminum instead of steel in essential areas of a chassis. The vehicle blends Land Rover's outstanding off-road performance with 550 PS V8 power and advanced traction technology to prove it is much more than a sports vehicle. The Range Rover Sport SVR was tested on grass, gravel, sand, and snow, and its 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration times were timed on each terrain to demonstrate its capacity. The car tackled some rugged terrain using terrain response to Land Rover's technology that can automatically pick the optimum driving mode to meet the traction circumstances. The acceleration test was performed to see how Range Rover SVR completed it. To evaluate the off-road performance of the Range Rover Sport SVR, they first tested it on the road, where it clocked 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.7 seconds, setting the bar for all other terrains. Land Rover Experience Eastner, notoriously difficult for any driver to navigate, provided ideal circumstances for the inaugural off-road acceleration test. The throttle response of the Range Rover Sport SVR is eased in different modes to prevent traction loss and to make gear changes smoother and faster, while the center differential is preloaded to optimize off-the-line performance. The traction control system intervenes early to avoid tire slip. The Range Rover Sport SVR completed a controlled 0 to 100 km per hour race on wet grass in under 5.5 seconds thanks to its powerful V8 engine and use of the traction control system. Next, a quarry provided the ideal setting for testing how the vehicle performed on a loose gravel surface. The vehicle's natural traction capabilities were tested, with a time of 5.3 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour. Then it was time for the snow and ice. Land Rover's winter driving test facility at Archiplog, Northern Sweden is ideal for testing the Range Rover Sport SVR acceleration speed on snow and ice. As the acceleration test began, the 4x4 system was triggered due to the frigid conditions and slick surface. Despite the unfavorable terrain for most sports cars, the Range Rover Sport SVR traveled from 0 to 100 km per hour in 11.3 seconds. The second phase of acceleration testing for the Range Rover Sport SVR occurred in one of Land Rover's all-terrain testing facilities in the UK, where the muddy conditions were ideal. The mud and rut setting on terrain response to boost the vehicle's air suspension. While the traction control system permits controlled tire slip to improve traction on slick surfaces, the outcome was once again excellent. Thanks partly to the clever 4x4 technology, the vehicle clocked a zero to 100 km per hour time of 6.5 seconds in these characteristically British conditions. At Carmarthen Bay, South Wales, Pendine Sands saw the first global land speed record attempt in 1924, making it an obvious choice for the Range Rover Sport SVR sand acceleration test. The vehicle hit 100 km per hour in 5.5 seconds after switching to sand mode which sharpens the vehicle's accelerator reflexes. Sand mode forced the car to hang on the gears for longer and locked the center differential, contributing to the vehicle's fantastic speed throughout the test. The final mode to test terrain response to was rock crawl, which required a unique approach. This mode, designed to aid drivers in navigating rugged terrain, works in tandem with the low-range gearbox to match the low-speed nature of the obstacle given by giant pebbles and boulders. Rock crawl mode softens the accelerator response to prevent unexpected movements and provide complete driver control. When tackling the 32% gradient, the rock crawl mode assisted the Range Rover Sport SVR by lifting the air suspension, increasing ground clearance, and allowing the vehicle to finish the test with ease. Regardless of the weather and its effect on driving conditions, the Range Rover Sport SVR demonstrated its off-road capability throughout this extensive testing, proving that anyone behind the wheel of a Range Rover Sport SVR does not have to sacrifice power and performance when embarking on 4x4 off-road driving. Perhaps the best thing about this car isn't how it drives, handles, seats, or steers, but how it looks. 
because it would be a total sleeper car if it weren't for those enormous brakes and wailing exhaust. You'd probably dismiss this monster as another British SUV if it weren't for the slightly more aggressive front and rear bumpers and downforce tuned spoiler. So, if you get the chance, go out and drive one. You'll not be disappointed. This is a result of decades of automotive design and engineering. And it's a wrap. Which feature of this card did you find the most absurd? Comment below. Let's engage. Also, please leave a like and subscribe for more exciting luxurious car videos. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Goodbye.